This is not a shrine at my own home. This is um, my parents' place and mum's sort of set out the room nicely <laughs> for today, but yeah, definitely not my own home. <laughs> Even being amongst it now, I feel a little bit weird. You know, another grand final week, I love it just the same. They never get old. Uh, I love winning. You know, if you ask any of the girls in the team how much I love winning, um, yeah, they know it. Um, I'm probably a bit more relaxed about it these days. Um, I remember as a as a kid walking, younger you know, person walking through the halls here, I was really OCD and I'd see things and I'd go, you know, in my head, oh, I've got to fix that. You know, otherwise I might lose the grand final type thing. And um, yeah, really, really weird stuff back then. It's grand final day in the Westfield W League. Will Brisbane be returning the trophy once more to the Sunshine State? Or can Sydney keep it in New South Wales with back-to-back -back championship wins? Last from the past, wow. My first grand final, really, yeah. Pretty nervy, pretty nervy. Mm. <laughs> this was the original rivalry where the bulk of the Matildas had come from, you know, back in the day. So this was an ultra grudge match. <laughs> what a lineup like Rollison, Ledbrook, Karmas, Simon, Brogan. These are all legends that I grew up playing with, and I felt very safe with all those names around me. And I think the responsibility back in those days was more on those those players because I was, I was younger than them um, and now the, the, the tables have turned of, of late so I feel that real responsibility now but going down that early uh, in a grand final against your rivals it's like a knife into the chest really. Young Meeks. This is the ninth minute. If we cop another one now, it's, it's going to be really, really hard to get back in the game. So the nerves, I think, for us were, yeah, really, we were on edge there, for sure. Um, I'm just trying to imagine that in, a, in any game, let alone a grand final, yeah. I don't know what happens next. Colossus is challenged from behind, well by Hart, loses out to Ledbrook, Ledbrook chips, and oh, what a goal! What a superb goal! It was a cross though. <laughs> that had to be a cross, right? I just saw a flash of my friends. They had um, all come to the game and they were wearing singlets with T and then the rest were all E's for T. That was sweet of them. The momentum in this game just shifted. Devanna tests it down. Devanna with a real chance. Devanna scores! That is the goal that takes Brisbane into the lead in the grand final! Devanna. Devanna. Of course. You can always count on her to step up in the big games, can't you? But come Sunday, it's our plan to keep her quiet. She got a yellow for <laughs> Definitely tough loss against the rival and good experience as a youngster. I think you learn more from your losses than you do your wins, to be honest. So all of these moments for me, um, they all add up and they all are part of my journey. You know, are all the pieces of me. Looking forward to watching a happier memory. <laughs> Look, we'll go out there and try to close them down, but we're going to focus on our own game, try to get control of the ball and, and play our own game. Oh, wow. I had to do <laughs> three game interview. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it was a special season with the, another young group and we weren't supposed to sort of get there, really, with this group. We scraped in four and then we hit our straps. I mean, look at the, the, look at the names. I think we dominated this game from start to finish. I remember Stadge saying he sort of just sat and watched and said, they've got this. He had that feeling. Here's Nicola, I bet she's going to intercept the ball. And Rebecca Stott with a dangerous back pass. It's going to be a goal, surely it is. It's an error, it's a calamity. Nice and early in the game too. All the in support. Kennedy wants it at the feet. Oh, there's a long range shot. It needed saving too. What a screamer from 40 metres from Palaz. Oh, I had a shot too. Wow, a long range shot. Not too bad, not too bad, but I think easy catching practice for Bree Davey. Yeah, I guess you can you can tell I was confident. If I'm having a long ranger, then <laughs> that says a lot, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I gave away a foul and they maybe scored off the free kick. Larson moves in. Oh, off the post and in. It's a wonderful goal. 1-1. One, one. Melbourne celebrates. Just in my head, I'm going, you know, you've let them back in. Oh, here we go. We can't, we can't miss this. This is the amazing Kaya Cross and the Sammy Kerr diving header. They're singing for the ball. Sam Kerr with a header, a brilliant header, slams it in. Sydney 2-1. What a piece of 
supply. I'll never forget that goal and the start of her backflipping ways. To score that kind of goal in a grand final, yeah, it's no wonder we see where she is now. Amazing. Oh, was it Crummer? Is this Crummer? Larissa Crummer, she can put it to bed. She touches inside, she's brought down. Penalty, it's going to be a penalty, surely. Oh, yes, red card, pen, that's right. So Cr Crummer came on as a super sub, gets player sent off. It's Simon, she moves in. A splendid strike! Kaya puts it away, calm and cool. I think she shushes the crowd here. Yeah. <laughs> You're hoping that nothing happens after that, after you've shushed the crowd. I mean, there we go, yay! <laughs> Big celebrations at the end. This was the first trophy for me, really. I was part of the state teams and all that, but this was the next level. Yes, it was so young then, you almost don't know what to do. I was like, yeah, this is heavy. And after a while of holding it, it's so super heavy. There you go, I had to help Kaya there. <laughs> what a celebration lies ahead for Sydney FC. You always have the underdog tag against a team like City. This is no different in this game. I remember this free kick, Kim Little. I think they, they rocked off. <laughs> they rocked off who would take it, her and Fishlock and like right in front of us, like this is a grand final, they're rocking off in the middle of the game. Rightio, so yeah, then she does that. No wonder why they rocked off. But you know, two nil at this point against a team like this is gonna be very hard. Puts it on the plate for BD Goat and this time, BT Goat buries it. In a game like this, oh here's Devana, I don't know if she got this one. Goes one on one with the keeper, Lisa Devana. And that is Melbourne City 4, City FC 1. Yeah, and that's the difference. They were so clinical. They were so clinical. And yeah, we, we probably weren't, but looking at our squad again, it's a pretty young team. And yeah, they were, they were the better team, basically. For me, this was probably the best game I ever played. I remember this game vividly. I, I don't know what came over me that game. Here's a run from Polias. And she's still alive, Teresa Polias, nearly playing to banner in. Oh, I even had a shot early. This is five minutes in. What am I doing in, the, <laughs> in our 18-yard box? See, we, we were definitely in this. Just key moments again. That's, that's a foul, right? <laughs> that's definitely a foul, I, yeah, so. And Fishlock spots the keeper off her line. Jess Fishlock. That was just maybe against the run of play there. So that was just a yeah, massive um, blow for us. But that was a really good final, actually. If you were a spectator, I'm sure it was really enjoyable to watch. Stressful being out there. <laughs> now the free kick from Fishlock! Off the bar, a tap in coming up! And is that enough? Teresa, I can see the tears. Can you just talk us through how tough that is to take? Yeah, it's really tough, but uh, I'm so proud of my team. I didn't. I never saw this interview and I... <laughs> I, um, yeah, that was deliberate because I was really emotional that game. But, you know, that's okay because we've got players that were there that are with us now that are stepping up this season and working wonders. This was a good game. I mean, when you see Sam Kerr walking out beside you, anything can happen in a game. So to get the early lead, that was crucial for us. What a delta! Oh, just a scrappy, scrappy penalty. And it sent me back to that 2013 final where Victory got a goal back and I was like, oh. Yeah, this is where you can start to panic a little bit. There were nerves, but then you have players step up in key moments like that. So all our goals were just quality, quality, world-class goals. Legazzo! Two goal buffer restored! It was nice to get the monkey off the back, you know, after not having won a grand final since 2013. It was a massive game for us and those that had been around for a long time, just the weight, the weight was off the shoulders. Does this go down? Hello? <laughs> what are the girls all laughing at? They're just saying, bring the trophy here, stop talking. <laughs> That's heavy. It got heavier. I, I, I think it got he heavier over the years. I'm pretty sure it got a revamp and it became heavier, the trophy. 2019 champions, 
Sydney FC. Their team last year was probably the most talented team they had. It was from player one to player 15 was international or foreigner or Matilda. And in that game, we, we, we did really, really well as a mixed group. And oh, the goal gutted me again. Like, Aubrey was perfect all season and the poor girl just, just happened. And then again, key moments, one-on-one, -on -one, we didn't capitalise. For a youngster, you know, I'm sure Prinny, when she gets into that situation in the future, she now knows what to do. So that's okay, it'll all fall into place. And um, like I said before, all these losses will teach you. Um, one day it all clicks together and uh, yeah, you'll get your win that you thoroughly deserve. It's really funny when I think about Sunday because um, there's a multitude of sort of emotions in the group. So you've got the group with their first timers, so it's their first grand final and they're desperate to win it. You know, they want to get some silverware early in their career and it gives me flashbacks of, you know, the, the one we watched earlier. Um, there may be a, a, a crew of kids that have been around that have never even played a semi, let alone a grand final, that are just itching for silverware, maybe the monkey off the back type thing and then there's sort of me who's been around um, and I'm desperate to win on Sunday. I'm absolutely desperate to win for the, the team and the club and you know everyone that's put in tireless hours and effort for us and our families and our friends. But um, for me this year, get, gaining the premiership was massive. And I don't know if the other players, I don't, I don't expect them to feel the same way. But for me, it was, 10 years in the making of gaining that premiership. So when we did that, I was like, we've got this, you know. But I think a weight was lifted off me. I'm really confident in the team. And whatever happens on Sunday, the girls are winners, really. They really are, they've stood up this year. Um, what they've done is incredible and it's been an honor to, to play beside them and lead with them, really. Um, so, can't wait for Sunday, super, super confident, but we have a massive task ahead of us and we've loved that. We've loved the toil in, in big games. We always do and they stepped it up last week against Canberra. They stepped it up the week before you know, in the premiership beside us. So there's no reason why we, we can't do it again in front of our family, our friends. So yeah, it's the big dance and we're ready. And yeah, like I said, whatever happens, I'm super proud of the group and to me they're, they're already winners.